Welcome back to the special show India Revival Mission with a spotlight on Atmanirbhar Bharat. Now we brought you corporate voices, leading voices from India Inc. But any story on self-reliance, on the spirit of Atmanirbharta would be incomplete without India's space agency ISRO. What makes ISRO such a fine mascot of self-reliant India? In fact, we have a very special voice joining us, Dr. K. Shivan, the chairman of ISRO. His life story is as inspiring as a space agency. Uh, Dr. Shivan, thank you so much for joining us on ET Now on the special programming of India Revival Mission. Take us through ISRO's own journey in Atma Nirbharta and self-reliance. How ISRO has managed to make so much on its own and undertake such ambitious missions in the world. Now, basically, that uh, uh, what we are uh, doing in, in the in the space sector, the space reliance, uh, self reliance, we are uh, doing in terms of uh, uh, developing the new technologies. And uh, we know that uh, we have acquired the, the technologies in the launch vehicle, and latest technology like cryogenic uh, propulsion. And uh, now we are developing on that uh, semi propulsion. Already we have mastered over uh, uh, the liquid propulsion system, like a uh, storable liquid system on the rocket. And we are able to launch that uh, a bigger satellite up to four ton. This is on the launch vehicle side. And uh, that uh, satellite side also that is, uh, we are able to make advanced satellite. Also, that is that uh, we are made, able to make that uh, launch that uh, the high throughput satellite like uh, GSAT 19, GSAT 29, GSAT 11, and uh, further uh, we are uh, uh, this one that uh, thing. Then also in that earth observation satellite also that is we are uh, in line with that uh, advanced countries in terms of technology of providing that uh, the 28 uh, centimeter resolution. This is uh, really in line with the uh, other countries that they have. So if you see that as a total thing, either launch vehicle or uh, the satellite uh, and providing the space space services, we are uh, that are fully indigenized and our, uh, our drive towards indigenization is further going with the uh, uh, development of further developments in the launch vehicle system satellite system and application area. Last week, you announced that private players can also build satellites and launch rockets from Indian soil. What role is this going to play in propelling India into a big player in the world space economy or in the global space economy? See, if you are uh, uh, seeing that uh, the global space economy, uh, that uh, at, at present that uh, it is something like uh, three sixty billion dollars, and uh, out of this, if you are seeing that India's uh, contribution is only merely three percent, and it is essential to the us to increase that uh, our global space economy, our contribution to higher uh, level. And at the same time, we are looking for that, uh, uh, that the applications, space space applications are increasing exponentially. And uh, uh, with the initiation of that uh, government uh, effort to, uh, by the, the, the Digital India program, this uh, the requirement of the space space applications is going to explode further. And uh, all these things will not be handled only about by the, the, the ISRO alone. So we wanted uh, the private players also to contribute for this space activity so that we can uh, get more uh, the share from the global space economy. That's the aim and that is the effort that uh, we are now done to enable the private players to carry out the space space activities. But what kind of reforms will this need, uh, sir, in terms of uh, enabling practices in India, like what US and Europe have enabled for private players? The kind of ecosystem support, funding support, how is all that going to play out? See, there is that uh, regarding that uh, the ecosystem for uh, allowing that uh, private players to do the job. That is, at present, we have the SATCOM policy and uh, name, uh, that uh, remote sensing policy but uh, that need to be slightly uh, updated to ensure that uh, private players are doing the job efficiently that is number one 
that we are on the job to enable the prayer place to do the job. At the same time, that is, uh, what the space activity bill, that should be introduced at the earliest. That also we are uh, already, we are, we are crossed the major milestone and we'll be coming to the point at the earliest, this one. So this type of systems will be in place so that private players can do the job without uh, any problem with ease, this one. Dr. Shivan, apart from conglomerates companies such as LNT, Godrej, we are also seeing a lot of interest from budding entrepreneurs, startups uh, to take a larger pie of the India space story. Of course, many of them are inspired by Elon Musk of SpaceX. But uh, what kind of enabling uh, ecosystem are you developing to encourage some of these uh, newer companies, some of these startups to build in the space, uh, to build for space? See, there is, uh, this is exactly that, uh, that uh, the in-space mechanism, whatever we are proposing is going to do, uh, do that thing. And uh, to, uh, if you are uh, considering the space activities, such as that uh, rocket building, satellite building, launching them, and all this is uh, the, the involved uh, risk, uh, and at the same time, that is safety, security, and quality. And uh, so, in, to ensure that uh, these things are done properly, that uh, that will be done by that in-space system, whatever we are putting. Also, if you are seeing that uh, uh, that uh, this part to carry out that the space activities, a lot of costly and uh, uh, involved the, the facilities are required, and uh, we are uh, that uh, uh, ready to share that our resource facilities already we have on these activities for, for use by that uh, uh, our private players, so that they can do their business at ease. So considering all this, that uh, a system in space, and also that in space will be going to promote that uh, space activities by entrepreneurs, and all these things are going to enable them uh, to carry out the space activities at ease. That is our aim. Our systems are uh, tuned for that. Finally, Dr. Shivan, your story itself is so inspiring. You grew up in a family, in a farming family in Tamil Nadu. You studied in a Tamil medium school and you're the first graduate in your family. What would your advice be for youngsters in these tough times? Uh, jobs are hard to come by. People are seeing... I, I can only say that, uh, that uh, the, 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 the sky is the limit. And uh, uh, they carry out that, uh, that uh, the science team or uh, that, uh, uh, not only science team, any whether science or technology, technical or engineering, any activities you please do with the full heart. Contribute and uh, do the activities with the full heart, with the concentration. I am uh, I'm sure that they will be able to succeed. Yes, that uh, it is independent of the the school you have studied or the college you have studied, it is up to you how to prepare yourself to, uh, to that uh, situation, to adapt yourself to that new and the requirement and the new situation. So that uh, one has to work with uh, this one. Suppose if you are uh, that, uh, that failing on certain attempt, please don't take uh, it to heart. You will be succeeding next time. Suppose something is denied, please don't uh, dishearten and if something is bigger is waiting for you. That uh, mantra you please, if you are there taking, and uh, they can succeed in all the aspects. As well. That's a lesson I learned in my career. Before we let you go, Dr. Shivan, do give us an update on uh, India's mission to the moon. Uh, Chandrayaan 3, are things on track? Yes, yes, the Chandrayaan 3, that is, that I said, we repeat up Chandrayaan 2. That also right now, we can on the, or on the card. And uh, but again, that uh, that also got slightly affected because of this COVID uh, the, the situation. And I'm sure that we'll come out of these things at the earliest and uh, do the needful. Thank you so much, Dr. Shivan, for joining us on ET Now. We couldn't have asked for a more inspiring voice 
uh, to really imbibe the spirit of Atma Nirbhar Bharat and a self-reliant India. But on that note, we come to the end of this special programming. We brought you leading voices from the industry, be it Mahindra, Mahindra, Maruti, and finally, what a way to end with ISRO. Hopefully, we will uh, have the government announce more policies today in the coming days on how they plan to take this uh, Atma Nirbhar Bharat strategy forward. But stay tuned to ET now because we will be bringing you key policy makers, key voices of India Inc. to tell us about how to revive India. Thank you and stay tuned to ET now for more news and updates.